Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Yeah, see, somebody's cutting somebody out, okay? I'm telling you, this could also be commu uh, no communication, right? And spirit is leading somebody straight to their divine partner. I'm telling you, whoop, there it is. Somebody is going to be, um, they're going to be very angrily speaking their truth. I feel like they're finally cutting a karmic individual out, okay? They're done with the karmic. They're making a cut. Yeah, man. And they're, you know what? They're speaking the brutal truth. They are speaking their truth. They're going for it, okay? And this is somebody who feels like a fool for even juggling you with, with this karmic. Um, you could be a Gemini or you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo and Aries. Um, you could, you could be a cancer also. I feel like, um, they're juggling, see, they're, they've got cancer, the sign for cancer in one hand, the sign for Gemini in another. Okay. So I feel like this person was juggling two people. They were having a, a physical relationship with a karmic, but in love with you collective. And they feel like a complete fool because they're being shown the truth. With spirit out here, kind of in the middle of the reading, right? I feel like um, this is divine intervention. Spirit um, is, this is a twin flame soulmate connection, I feel, with the lover's card. And spirit is like, this is when, this is union time. This is time for you to be shown who your true partner is. This is time for you to speak the truth, okay? And this person's doing it. Okay, um, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a big brawl. I feel like there could be other people involved in this too, but this fight's going to be massive. And they're not holding back how they feel at all. So this person, I feel like this masculine has been keeping a lot of things pent up, frustrated, angry, knowing that they made the wrong decision. They've been in love with someone else. They've been kind of feeling like... Um, They've been suffering in this karmic connection, this karmic situation. And they're letting it all fly this week, this week, or today, or this weekend, okay? Um, in the next, like, five days, right? Yeah, see? They want something new with their star. They can't take it anymore. This is a lot of passion, right? And a lot of truth coming out of this masculine, there, it could be like, uh, they could be in a family event. Say they're, they're um, doing Thanksgiving dinner. They pop off and other people get involved. Um, so there could be other people that are fighting with this masculine, um, defending this karmic. So this could be maybe um, at the karmic's family's house or something like that, okay? But um, it could get messy, very messy, and this masculine, they don't care. They're being driven and motivated by the divine. Okay? They are being spiritually led by the divine. And um, they, they just feel like they are compelled to do, the, to do this. All of a sudden, they just pop off. There could even be police that are called into this fight. Because I can see um, this Knight of Swords being the police being called in, rushing in. To try to break up some kind of physical fight? I mean, yeah. Whoop, there it is. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, but they're taking a leap of faith here with the Fool card. And they're coming in to try to heal things with you. You're in this star energy right now. Um, you could even be posting things on social media maybe. Or if you're on social media at all. Um, you may find out about this fight. Uh, the karmic may be posting some things about it. Um, I feel like there's, you're going to be made aware of this. Yeah, I'm, and I'm getting, somebody else could come and tell you about it as well. This could be your masculine finally getting the courage, the strength, the passion um, to come in and talk to you. They could be approaching you. They may even ask you out on a date, but they are walking away 
from this karmic individual to come and apologize to you. You do not see this coming. This is going to be a huge surprise. It's going to be, um, I feel like you're going to be a bit shocked because you, you're not going to know that this person is showing up, okay? Yeah, and they're showing up as an emperor. Oh, collective, here they come. You know, if they're coming to your Thanksgiving, showing up at your door during Thanksgiving because they know you're going to be there, something like that, they could bring a pie, right? <laughs> they may bring a gift for you, but this person's bossing up. They know what they want. They know they want to be with you. They've got a fire lit, okay? Um, and they want to come in for their star, their divine feminine. So this is a masculine now who's learned their lessons. They're speaking their truth. This is what spirit has been wanting this person to do for a very long time, maybe a couple of years. And they are finally walking away from everyone. They could be, I mean, um, especially if they're like maybe at their their karmic's family's house for Thanksgiving, something like that. They're walking away from everybody that they know there. They're walking away from a lot of people in order to come to you to apologize, okay? Yeah, they're feeling very betrayed, very hurt. This is defeated, okay? This is the scales being balanced out as well. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe a Cancer, Sorry, this fell on the floor. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person's in a lot of pain. They realize they may not get another chance with you. You may not even want them back. I see you um, on a glow up, being beautiful. You could have your own platform. You could be in the public eye somehow. Um, you're a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher, somebody who's got this lovely, calm, caring, giving energy about you. People love to be around you. This person may know that you're attracting the attention of new people. Okay. Um, you may even already have somebody new. Okay. This could also stand for possibly a new person in your life. And um, this masculine's in a whole lot of pain. Okay. The Ten of Swords um, with justice. This person got some kind of karma. They don't know what to do because, yeah, you're moving on. You may not even want to speak to this person anymore. Or they could be paying for tarot card readings or watching readings on YouTube. They may have seen a couple of them that have told uh, the reader has said that you're moving on to calmer waters. You're tired of being betrayed and hurt. You want to put this energy behind you. So, yeah, this is triggering this person to take this action, okay? So I feel like they maybe they, um, you could even be the tarot card reader out here. And if they've been watching you, they don't know if they have a chance or not, but it's, uh, they don't want you to get away. They know that it's you that they want, okay? And this, per this person is speaking their truth. I feel like they may even tell the karmic that you're the one that they want. Like, whoop, there it is. They come out with it, okay? They're speaking the truth about everything. Yeah, this, this is you moving on is triggering this person to come in for this victory. Um, they want to have a victory with you. They may even be getting encouraged by... Other people that, you know, um, are backing them, right? Friends, family, telling them, do it, do it. Go for the collective. Go for your wish fulfillment. This is the person that you're wishing for. I feel like this person is about to show up at your door. And I have been picking up on that energy consistently since last night. Okay, so for some of you, this person could be very well coming in today. Um, during your Thanksgiving celebration, okay? Um, but they're coming in, or it's going to be from now through the next eight days, I feel, that this person is coming forward. So the, either from today through the week, okay? 
they're coming to your house. Yep, because they want a new beginning with you. They want this. They want to they wanna restart this. They want a second chance. This person, I feel like um, they're ready to get serious now. They're in King of Pentacles, Emperor Energy. Okay? And I feel like this is death and transformation. Um, one, I feel like they're, they're ending something to come towards you to transform your connection. But two, I'm also feeling like this, is, this may be over already. I, I'm getting the sense that you're moving on. You know, with the Six of Swords, you're moving on, Collective. You're done with the stagnancy. You want some forward movement. Okay, and you could be, you could have your boundaries up. You're standing your ground here. Yeah, but they see you as their match, and they want to turn this around. Oh, collective. <laughs> um, they're speaking their truth to everyone. First, they needed to do it to the karmic and their family and their friends, right? That's what's happening. And um, now they need to come in and tell you how they feel. And tell you what they want okay and I feel like an Emperor and King of Pentacles energy this person um, they're not gonna give up okay they're not gonna give up this time they want you your wifey they see you as wifey material they see you as the one that they want to spend the rest of their life with and they want to do it right this time okay I feel like you've been waiting for this for too long, okay, and um, you've been very patient, uh, you've been very flexible, you've been very silent in all of this, you've had nothing but integrity, okay, and I feel like now you're closing out the cycle, they may not be able to come back in. With the Wheel of Fortune too, I feel like all of your hard work that you have put in, any seeds that you've planted, it's about to pay off, okay. Um, there's like a, that door is opening. I feel like you're going to see a lot of money coming in very, very soon. Money, new opportunities. I feel like you already have. This person could have seen you in Seven of Pentacles energy. Maybe they thought you weren't enough. Maybe they thought you weren't flashy enough. You didn't have a flashy enough job. You didn't make enough money. They saw you, um, being in peasant clothing. Okay, they see you a whole differently, way differently now. Um, you're in the Queen of Pentacles throne. You're very abundant, very stable, very grounded. You could be a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be a Leo. You could be an Aquarius, Gemini. Your person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, maybe, Libra, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, this is a time in your life when you're celebrating. Yeah, look at everything that you have worked so hard on. Um, whatever it is, right? Whatever you've grown, whatever you've been trying to nurture, the seeds that you planted, it's all about to pay off. You're in 10 of Pentacles energy. Holy cow. So you could be getting a promotion, a pay raise, a bonus. Um, you could be, you could have your own business be an entrepreneur and all of a sudden you're hitting a time of major fortune so you've got fortune coming in you've got this communication from this um from this ex coming in this emperor is about to approach you they're in emperor energy now all right what else can you show me hangman yeah, they see you from a whole new perspective. Now, this is somebody who didn't know your worth. They were very materialistic, very superficial. Um, they chose someone else over you that now they're leaving behind. And now they want to come rubber band, snap back to you, right? Doing a 180. Um, I feel like you're, you may be for, fairly protective right now of everything that you've created. You may be thinking when this person comes back around that they're only there to take advantage of your abundance, okay? Yeah, and they realize that. They, they're thinking about what they're going to say now. What do I say now? 
they're going to want to put this work in with you, okay? What can I say now that's going to work, that's going to get the collective back? They could be asking other people, what do I say? Yeah, they know they're going to have to pull off a magic act in order to get you back. They are. This is going to be very tricky for your person. Whatever they say, whatever they do, um, it's going to have to be big. You know, now they didn't think you were enough before. Now that you're abundant, they want to come back around. They're very burdened by this, though, because that's not really why they're coming back in. But how do they get you to believe that? This, listen, this masculine in particular, they're in love with you. I feel like they have been for a long time. They pop off on the karmic because they can't take it anymore. They want to come towards you and they are being spiritually led. This is divine intervention. So they're coming in kind of like um, at a time when you're just becoming very financially stable all right and it's just that kind of timing like how do they convince you right how do they convince you that they're actually in it for the right reasons that they're actually wanting you for all the right reasons okay they want to be loyal they want to be dependable they want to be the kind of person that you want them to be but are you gonna believe them you know what I mean because in the timing that they're coming back in, it looks like they're coming in to take advantage of you. You know, they're coming in because you're abundant, but that's not the reason. They're, they know they screwed up. They know they made a poor decision here. And they're trying to change that. Okay, they've changed their mind. They want to come to you now. But yeah, I see your point. They didn't think you, you were enough before. And now that you're abundant, they want you now? I mean, it totally looks like this person wants to take advantage of you. But I don't feel like that's what it is. I feel like they've just gotten clarity, okay? I feel like they're driven now to get the person back that they know that they belong with, right? Um, but you're not going to see it that way. This person's scared. They're worried. How do they convince you? Um, how do they convince you that they want you for love and not your money, okay? Um, and this person is ready to be in a loyal, dedicated relationship with you. Like, they plan on committing to you someday. Yeah, but you're going to see this person as a liar, a sneak, a cheat, okay? This is the kind of reputation that they've created for themselves with you. This is all you know of them, that in and out energy, the lies, the no communication. You're going to see this person as somebody who's coming in to take advantage of you. This is an opportunist. Okay, this, that's what this card means. But I really, truly feel that they have all the right intentions. And they're coming towards you for the right reasons. It's just that... Man, they don't know if you're ever going to believe that, you know, after what they've done. Yeah, look at them, looking, thinking about this, you know, making this legit offer to you, but it's taken way too long. Um, wanting to put that work in, I saw the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Wanting to be solid for you, wanting to be stable for you, hoping that you don't reject them. But all they ever showed you was that um, they took advantage of you and turned their back. Man, do they regret this. See, one of the biggest things that they regret, they regret a couple of things. They regret their choice that they made because it went nowhere, okay? Um, but they regret the way that they turned their back on you. They regret the way they made you feel when they left you behind, when they betrayed you. Because it's made it really difficult for this person to come back in and regain your trust. They broke your trust, you know? And that's the part that they regret the most, is that you don't feel the same way about them that you did before. 
Um, maybe at one point you held this person on a pedestal. You know, you could have thought that they were the best thing ever. You could have thought, you know, that you'll never love anybody else. Like, I mean, you were really in love with this person, you know. I feel like this person shattered you. But now, after everything that they've done, and how long it's taken this person to even show that they care, you don't feel the same way. You know, um, if this person had come back in years ago, maybe there could have been a better chance to get those feelings, you know, um, reignited within you, right? But the further, the longer it took for them to come back, the, actually the harder it made them to come back, or the harder it made it for them to come back. Does, does that make sense? So now after all of this time, how are they going to prove to you that they're actually someone that you can trust? You know, they took somebody who had a really good loving heart for this person, who wanted to take care of them, wanted to grow with them, wanted to be with them, right? And they, it's almost like they turned, that, they turned you into somebody that cannot trust them anymore. Somebody who won't believe them. Someone who sees them as a liar and a cheat. That's one of the things that they can't, they just can't handle that. You know, they had something beautiful and they tainted it so bad that now there may not be another chance to get it back. Okay, these are all the things that they're thinking about. And you know, honestly, this is where they had you. They had you in a mental prison, wondering what was going on. Why did they have to hurt you? You know, um, what about all the promises they made, right? What about this connection? Did I feel, did I actually feel what I was feeling? Like, I mean, you were questioning everything because this person left you behind and gave you no answers and it kept you stuck, possibly for years, maybe even up to eight years. For someone, you know, how can they come back in now? This person's like, oh my gosh, what have I done? What have I done, right? Because now they really do have good intentions for you, okay? Their intentions are great. They, they, they want to pamper you. They want to they take care of you the way you took care of them. Or they want, to, they want to commit. They want you forever now. But how are they going to ever make you believe that? Okay, and you are moving on. You're in this earth angel energy. I feel like you're over this. But this person put you through a battle. And you had to heal from that on your own. Release, purge, and grow all by yourself. Through that pain, that heartache. You know? And uh, now you're very balanced out. This is telling me that you're over this person. You've healed. The chariot is a healing card. You're an emperor and empress energy, so you don't need anybody either in, in the energy that you're in. You're very independent, and you've healed from the battle that you've been put through. And now you're having a victory in life, okay? And you're moving on, right, with determination. And this is telling me that you're balanced in your emotions, Okay, with the temperance angel. So you're over this person already. That's the part they can't handle. That's the part they can't handle. Okay, yeah, you had a very loving heart for this person. You had unconditional love for them. You were nurturing, you were kind, you were giving, you were caring, you were gentle. You were the sweetheart in the deck, okay? And now you're taking that cup of love and you're turning your back on them and you're moving into your future, right? You're going to offer that cup to someone else because this person, they didn't show you anything positive. They didn't even give you communication. They didn't give you the time of day. They tossed you out of their life like you were nothing. That's how they treated you. And now this person fully realizes that you're the one for them because that's what they're being shown, okay? 
that you're the one for them. And now you're not going to believe that. You're not going to believe that. You're going to see this person. Like I said, you already see this person as a liar, a cheat, a manipulator, um, somebody who just took advantage of you, walked all over you, and didn't see your worth. And then they put you in a mental prison. So, yeah, they want to they wanna get back together, though. They want to reunite collective, okay? Let's see what your advice is in this. I, I know this person's coming forward to talk to you. They're scared because they don't know if they're going to ever get another chance. Chances are they feel you're going to reject them. You know, and you just don't feel the same way about them between worlds here. I feel like this person's coming towards you. They're leaving something behind. You're leaving something behind. Okay, this soulmate connection. Yeah, I feel like they're coming towards you. They're leaving behind the karmic situation. They're being divinely led. I'm getting that they want this soulmate connection back. You hold the key to their heart. Okay? But yeah, you're moving on. Uh, you may feel like um, the divine has something better for you. Okay? If you release this connection to the divine, the divine will bring you the connection that you deserve. So I feel like you're in the process of releasing now, giving this up to God. Go ahead, God. Just take the stagnancy, the pain, my troubled thoughts, my worries. Just take it. I don't want to be in this energy anymore. And bring me the kind of love that I deserve. That's what you're saying here. Yeah, you're clearing this energy out so you can live a happy life. You just want to be happy. You don't want to feel stuck anymore, you know? You don't you don't want to be thinking about somebody who's not ever talking to you. That's like a waste of your time and energy and love. All right, hold on. Something just fell on the floor and I got to try to pick it up. All right. Yeah, you could be seeing this person in your dreams. Okay? I feel like you just need a break. Yeah, you're realizing that this connection may not be for you. You've had plenty of time to weigh this out. This person gave you lots of time to heal and think about this. And I feel like you're just, you're making a final decision for yourself. You're moving on. But I'm telling you, you're moving on just as they're coming back around. So this person is coming back in. Um... They want to change this. They want to be fair now, just as you're walking away. And I feel like that's what you're doing. You're releasing this connection. You're releasing the pain, the worry, um, you're the stagnancy. You're done with that, and you're moving on, okay? Oh, man. So, yeah, get ready, collective. Uh, you're going to have a decision to make when it comes to love. Because this person is coming back around to try to convince to you that try to convince you that they can be the person that you need them to be, that they want to be the person that you need them to be. And I don't know if you're gonna believe them. All right, give me one more for the collective. Yeah, spirits like, you know what? We've already been um, mixing up someone new for you. You've been manifesting. This is you co-creating with the universe, with the divine, okay? Um, this, is, this is you dreaming up the kind of connection that you want, the things that you want in your new cycle. And Spirit's trying to tell you, just keep going, keep moving forward. This person's going to come back in to balance the scales and bring you your justice. But we have other things for you. We have exactly what you've manifested, just waiting on the other side of this door. You're going to have a choice to make in love, okay? It's going to be up to you. You get, the, you get to make the final decision here in who you want to be with. You could, choose, you could easily take this masculine back. They're going to be ready, willing, and able, okay? 
Um, but you have to decide whether or not you can ever trust them again, whether or not um, this person, you know, I feel like, do they have... Do they have what you need in a person, right? Are they worthy of you? You need to make that decision. But I feel like Spirit's saying here, you've manifested something new. We're, we're mixing it up for you right now. It's time to go. So this masculine, even though they're bossing up, they may not get another chance. Okay. Okay. 